New Day Northwest is back now from the AAA Travel Alcove. Here's Margaret Larson. Hey there, when we have a baby, especially our first, it seems we save every little keepsake and every thought and milestone is recorded. A new book called Mom's Turn is a unique journal that takes women through that first momentous year. Author Jenica Ingram is here. It's so good to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank I you. love, first of all, that this is a book we can take everywhere because yes. it's the right size to stick in your purse. But tell me how this book came about. Well, I just felt like it was such a tremendous learning curve, and also there's a baby book to record the baby's journey, but there's no place to really record our journey <laughs> and our emotional journey. So. Exactly, yeah. which involves a lot of trial and error, some mistakes, some joy, some humor. Um, tell me a bit about what you put in this book. Well, I interviewed moms from 21 to 47, so I wanted to have everybody's input, um, and not just mine, what they wish they knew. Um, I want to have a little fun in the book, yep. and I want to have a little bit of um, facts and stuff so you can learn something, because you have so little time, so this is a way you can still learn something and, and have a place to record the journey. Yeah. One of the things that's great about this is that it helps us learn from one another and also to remember what happened because everybody talks about mom brain. That first year is, is tough and you may remember everything your baby went through mm -hmm. by recording it, but you're not going to remember what happened to you. You have uh, edges of each page where we can do some coloring. Why did you decide to do that? Well, because I'm going to color baby, for a minute. If your baby is sleeping on you, for one, yeah. and you don't feel like moving, you can just kind of slide this book over and, and, <laughs> and be coloring to on the side or, you know, and, and it's just something fun to do and it's relaxing. I think that is so clever. Um, did you learn new stuff? You've got a son who's in college, right? Yes. So it's been a while since either of us had a baby, but you never forget what that's like. Did you learn a bunch of new stuff? I did. I did. And actually on the college front, um, I wrote this, I was in the university taking him to all my classes and so forth, and now, and now he's at the college age. And um, one of the tips I learned was just um, like one month with the page on, um, the mom learned about when you're teething to eat a frozen waffle. And I never knew that. And I just oh, thought that was a, a really good idea. cool little tip. Yeah. That's better than just the ice cube and trying to dab yeah. it in there. There is, um, there's so much collective wisdom and sometimes, you know, I feel like we don't have as many touch points as we should to yes. just sit down and talk about those ideas with women. How are people responding to this book? People are really responding because it is about the emotional journey and all those things that, you know, you don't always feel like talking about. And, um, and so people are kind of excited that, you know, you can, you can see what other moms are thinking and validate your feelings and so forth yeah. um, just by reading the book. The other thing that's cool is that you help us have some realistic expectations. Expectations. I remember um, when my son Kyle was born, people would say, oh, you'll know what all the different cries mean and that kind of stuff. I'm like, what are you <laughs> talking about? I have absolutely no idea what right, this kid wants. Right. I'm just running through the options. Um, and this helps us kind of forgive ourselves if we're not perfect at um, something we've never done before. Absolutely. I remember the first time I had my son move, he, he rolled off a chair onto a carpeted rug. He didn't cry, but I just might, I held him for like such a long time because I just wanted to be perfect. And hopefully this will help moms with all those different little moments that they yeah. have. Yeah. And yeah. I just remember leaving the hospital and thinking, these people are so irresponsible to let me leave. With right. This baby. Right. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Um, you have a little envelope for gray hairs in this yes. book, which is genius. Thank Tell you. me about that. Well, you know, when you have like a baby book, you have an envelope for your first baby hair. So this is like for your first gray hair. And you can be 22 or you can be 30, but you know, sometimes it happens with the stress of being a mom. Absolutely. And so uh, part of the goal I hope here is to demystify for ourselves that we don't, you know, we have this perfection complex about parenting and mothering and that any mistake we make is going to be, oh my gosh, it's all over and part of this book invites you to learn but also to forgive yourself give yourself absolutely. some range yes absolutely and that was what was so interesting because some you know all these moms are all different types of moms and and you know that one was like a corporate lawyer and she said you know I never expected the fear you feel and yeah. she could take care of her baby and she was going to be a great mom but you know you have all those thoughts and and so hopefully here's a place for them exactly yeah. and suddenly you have this huge vulnerability because you have absolutely. this person to take care of has your son looked at this book yes he likes it have you had some <laughs> discussions with him about what it was like to be his mom at that stage oh yeah I mean yeah I mean it, it was fun well as I said I was taking him to classes and so forth but you know you were, as a mom you just can't believe how all-consuming it is and and he, you know I yeah I told him it, <laughs> I don't know he, yeah it's a wonderful book it's called mom's turn a journal for the first year of motherhood and stories to stay empowered and you have kind of a little rock star mom right on the front which I think is a nice uh, Nice little tip of the hat to staying cool. Yeah, because you don't just you know you don't just start knitting and, and suddenly.
suddenly no. you go to a full head of gray hair. No. So there's yeah. there's a little bit in between. Thank you again. When we come back, we're going to preview a few new luxury automobiles and your chance to win some great prizes, including a lease on one of these beauties. Back after a quick break.